my name is Ian Krauss and this is my independent review of the Inmotion V10F. As you can see it's a very nicely put together unit. Um, it's a latest generation unit. It has all of the latest features and functions. It has got a nicely integrated uh, pushing handle. Um, the, pad, the, the, the rubber on the sides of the unit and the pedals might change. Um, it's a power indicator, a very, very bright light. Um, it's the on off button in front of it there. And if you lift the handle, you'll find the charging jack. It's an 84 volt unit, um, 84 volt 1.5 amp charger. And to lift the handle, you press the button and lift it up from the clip. It just comes up very, very easily. One of my favorite things about this unit is the size of the foot pedals. They're ginormous, which is really comfortable. The whole unit itself is fairly large, so I'm putting some objects here to give you a relative idea of it. Um, despite the size, it's quite maneuverable. I, I can ride it at a walking pace on a sidewalk full of people with not, not any problems. I can also maneuver it around very, very, very tight spaces. But let's go have some fun with it. Um, along with the size it comes a, a lot of stability. It's a very confidence inspiring wheel. Um, it has a two and a half inch wide tire. Most 16 inch wheels are, are 2.1 inches. So it's significantly wider and it gives it a very firm planted feeling. Um, you can also adjust the feeling of it quite a little bit by the amount of air pressure in the tire. I find that this wheel when it has a, a higher level of air pressure it doesn't get skittish um, or wobbly like a, a lot of other wheels that I've ridden if they have a, a higher inflated tire pressure um, it just it inspires a feeling of confidence um, it's a 84 volt unit 25 mile per hour max speed it has a um, audible warning and then a very very gentle tilt back the, the tilt back is actually it, it's not a, a problem on, on some of the other units I've ridden the tilt back can be very disconcerting this tilt back is very gentle so it leads you to to ride it fast without fear of of, of, of hitting that top speed um, coming from Glotway wheels that's actually very very reassuring as I've, I've hit that cut off a couple of times there um, and on this this wheel I hit the cut off it's a it's an audible warning and very gentle tilt back there's not any problems at all it makes me feel safe going fast this is a pre-production unit um, and as such um, I don't have access to the app yet because it, it's not being finished off it should be done literally in a matter of days I've been told um, and that would let me do things like have the lights on the side of the unit go it would let me use the, the speakers as a speaker above the tail light and the headlight. Um, they're fairly loud because the, the warning message comes out and it comes out loud and clear. That will be customizable on the final unit as well too, which would be a, a very fun feature. Um, this is a VTNF with a um, 960 watt battery. It's got a 2000 watt motor, which is, I think, for a 16 inch wheel it's about as good as it gets um, it's done by the amount of current going through it so on the standard v10 it's rated at 1800 watts uh, power going through the motor but the v10f is 2000 which is a ton of fun um, the the confidence this wheel gives me is just incredible i find myself doing stuff um, much more confidently and better than I have on just about any other wheel which, which I've ridden and I think that's due to the size and stability. It has high foot pegs, you don't have to worry about scraping the ground, I've turned very very tightly. I, I can make it touch but you really have to be trying to make it scrape. Um, it's good for a good turn of speed too and like I said before you can actually use all of that speed rather than be afraid of the last one third of it. One thing I would like to see on this wheel is a USB charging jack, which it doesn't have. Um, that, that would be a nice touch because it has just about every other modern feature. It has a hand, hand cut off when you pick up the handle. Um, it has a two and a half inch tire. It, it, just, it has all of, all of the latest things. The, the headlight is really bright on it. Um, 
So when you you see this wheel beside other wheels, you'll see that it is actually physically larger. It's narrower though, so it it it's, it feels nice between your legs. It doesn't force your legs apart. It lets you stand in a much more natural position. Um, and it's sittable. You can, you. It, I would want to put a nice pad on it before I quit sit down that low on it. But it, it, it just, it's so stable. It, it's so stable. I mean, I, I can do things on this wheel that I just simply can't do on other wheels. So, yeah, it definitely. It's confidence inspiring. It's fun. Um, it does weigh forty five pounds. So. It, it, Despite the weight, it, it's fairly maneuverable still. Um, it, uh, it's highly recommended. Just to give you some idea of the size of it, here's an M Super, which it makes look like an old relic from the 80s, literally. Um, this, the styling is very, very nice. It's just, it, you get the feeling it's a very polished product. Um, here's the size of it compared to a Tesla. So while I do talk about the size of it, and it is visibly larger, it's it's not ridiculously larger, but it, it is a step larger. Um, I've enjoyed this wheel immensely. Um, I look forward to riding it more and I look forward to doing a follow-up review. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.